Uh, sorry, folks. Uh, my emulator is just completely not working. Won't open now. I was trying to fix the audio, and now it's just busted. So uh, I'm going to try and fix it and get back to you guys in a minute.
Hey, everybody. Okay. Finally dealt with all the technical difficulties. Uh, yeah. I was getting no audio from OpenEMU, and then when I, uh, shut it down, it refused to open again. I reinstalled it and everything would not open, which is infuriating, uh, to be honest. But... Yeah, we're gonna play original Metroid as the backup. I'm only gonna play for a couple hours, then I'm gonna figure out Super or er, Metroid Fusion next time. Oh yeah, a quick note about the Super Metroid playthrough. Uh, I have not put it to YouTube yet because uh, Twitch false flagged it. The first six minutes, which is about you know the five-ish minutes before I usually go live, uh, for some reason it got false flagged as a remix of a Metroid song when it's just the audio for Metroid, so that's really annoying and really bad on Twitch's part. Like, how can you mess that up? It's, it's gonna be real bad if that's gonna become a common thing because like every game has been remixed at some point. So yeah, not looking good, folks, not looking good. Um, why is my chat, hold on, let me see if I can fix that. Pause due to scroll. Bro. Oh God. I'm trying to scroll it down and it's like, I paused it, stop. Oh my God, is there a re reload option here? Refresh. There's, there we go, okay. Refreshing. That should, should fix it, okay. There we go. That, that should be fixed now, apologies. Yeah, I'm just having the worst technical difficulties today. So, we're gonna play some Metroid. I have played this before. Uh, oh, it's one of those where you gotta hit the select. But, uh, yeah, I've never gotten that far in original Metroid, um, similar to Super Metroid, which I played all the way through. This is just gonna be a casual run for today, so we're not, you know, going hardcore on it. Um, I actually have a time limit on it, because at about three, we're gonna head, head down south to the movie theater, go see, uh, go see the new Venom movie, which I, I, I'm a huge fan of, like, really ridiculous movies, good or bad, like, if they're trying something weird, I'm down with it, and Venom is, like, the perfect example of that. Uh, is it great? As a fan of, like, Spider-Man, I feel like it'd be good if, you know, Spider-Man was involved in the story of Venom at all, but, uh, it's, it's fine. I'm super excited to see Carnage, mainly. That's, like, my favorite of the symbiotes, you know? Like, Venom is the original, so he gets points. Uh, Carnage is, like, just the absolute bonkers one who's the most fun. Uh, Toxin's a cop, so we, you know, we don't talk about Toxin. And then there's, like, a bunch of others, I guess, since I don't, I don't really care about them. Um, and Venom's gonna be in the new Spider-Man game, which is great. I still gotta play Miles Morales, and I'm gonna play... I am probably going to marathon the Spider-Man game on here. Maybe do a 100% run? I'm not sure yet, but uh yeah, I'm going to I'm going to play it on here eventually for certain. And yeah, I appreciate you know, if anybody was talking beforehand, apologies I didn't get to see your messages, I just... A lot of technical difficulties this today. I, I'm gonna try and fix things so that I can play Metroid Fusion uh, tomorrow, but... Yeah, I don't... I don't know. It's... it's rough. Maybe... maybe they will do Game Boy 
on uh, the official emulation here at some point. I'd, I'd like that for certain. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I'm super excited. Uh, I, I've been playing a lot of Donkey Kong 64 lately. That's, that's my hope is that they will eventually release that on the N64 expansion pass that they're going to be putting out later this month. Uh, the, the big thing is that it's like they, the, that's the only N64 rare game that they can't re-release without like working together because, you know, most of them were on N64, but they were, uh, rare's IP, but like Donkey Kong 64 is a rare game with a Nintendo specific IP so like they both have to work together on that one for that one to ever get any kind of official release again so I'm really hoping I'm really hoping that's that's gonna be the case coming up here eventually it's hard to say it's hard to say that one was never like that popular unfortunately and it's honestly not even that good I, I just have a ton of nostalgia for it, but like playing it through, it's like I got to the third world and I was like, oh yeah, that's why I never finished this game, because it's ridiculous. The, the the thing with Donkey Kong 64 is that, um, uh, hold on, I'm just going to rewind back to before I died. Yeah, I know it's cheating. This is casual playthrough, I don't care. Um, like... The thing with Donkey Kong 64 is that it is a collectathon game like Banjo Kazooie, but you you play as five. You can choose between five different characters, and each character has their own unique collectibles. Like you can't collect them while you're playing as another character. So that means that you basically have to go through every single level all the way through, searching for all these tiny collectibles five times. And like, yeah, once you get to that third world, it becomes apparent like, oh no, this is gonna be a slog. This is gonna be a nightmare. And it's like, yeah, 100%ing that game would be a nightmare. For a casual run, it's it's pretty fun. You know, it controls really well. Music's great, it's Grant Kirkhope, as most of those uh, N64 rare games were. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's annoying. Yeah, uh, kinda. I, I apologize for not being able to see your messages earlier, cause I, I saw, uh, I saw that you you spoke there. So you said some things, but I was so focused on dealing with technical difficulties. As you can see, we're uh we're not playing, we're not playing Metroid Fusion today, cause I was having too many issues with the player. First audio issues, and then it just literally just would not open anymore, so I'll try and figure it out to play some tomorrow, but yeah, sorry, Blue Island, I wanted to play Fusion, I did, but it's like when I, when I, I, I set it up before I was streaming, and, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh, -oh, uh, -oh, uh yeah. before I was streaming, everything was working well, but then for some reason when I started up OBS, it cut off the audio, and then, uh, when I tried to restart it, because it froze up, it just would not reopen. So, uh, yeah, I've reinstalled and everything. Um, so I'll, I'll try and figure it out when I have more time, but, like, today I don't... Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to, to deal with that. But uh, I, I will try. I'll try tomorrow. Well, I appreciate that. Any, any kind of interaction is appreciated. Also, don't think you gotta stay on topic or anything. <laughs> I, I know some people have apprehension of like, oh, I, I want to have something relevant to say. Just talk about whatever. I, I, as long as people are talking in chat, you know, I like replying and everything. Sometimes I'll have to focus on the game because it gets hard, but like, for the most part, I'm just here, I'm here to chat. Mm. See... That musical theme is really nostalgic to me, uh, but not because of Metroid. It's because there was the gaming website ScrewAttack.com, which was, you know, based on ScrewAttack from Metroid. Uh, and that, that was their intro theme to all their songs. 
Uh, I did finish Super Metroid. Yeah, I I was raging pretty hard at the end, but then uh, one of the one of the like Metroid like fans like challenge runners who was in the chat uh, let me know that I, I wasn't as blocked off as I thought I was. So I was able to finish it. Um, it's not up on the YouTube yet because it got false flagged uh, for like a copyrighted song. Even though all I played was audio from Metroid, so that's that's annoying. But it is it is on the past broadcast tab. The first six minutes are muted, but um, a everything after the first six minutes should be audible. So you can go watch that. You can skip through whatever. I wish I'd put like more markers on that one. It's like I uh, I don't know. In the in the marathon runs, I'm so focused on actually getting through it that I forget. To, to mark anything. That's right! Yes, Blue Island knows. Yeah, most people remember Screw Attack because they, um, they got the rights to the Angry Video Game Nerd. But I watched a lot of their other stuff. Uh, and... And, uh, even then, like, I watched AVGN so much as a kid. I, I fell off at a certain point, but the thing is, I don't know, I, ah, ah, stuck, stuck, okay. The whole angry review thing kind of lost its uh, appeal to me as I got older, but of any of them, Angry Video Game Nerd is the one who at least tries the hardest, like, he, he puts a lot of work into those videos, so I plan on catching up at some point. I watched some of his more recent ones, and they're, they're pretty fun. The Spawn Games one? That was great. Uh, I specifically remember the like PS2 one that he talks about, which is a game I liked, but the the problem with it was the the area, the like level design. There's like a point I got to in that game where you're like in Central Park, and it's like impossible to navigate. I got lost so often in that game because everything looks the same, and I even like looked up walkthroughs with pictures, and I was still like, I can't find my way out of here. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't really know what happened with them. I heard it was not great. Um, I know Handsome Tom continued to do stuff on like his own site for a while and then that also fell apart. Um, he did like stuff with, they like partnered up with uh, that guy with the glasses and we, you know, a lot of people know what happened with that guy with the glasses now which I was there for, um, like I wasn't behind the scenes or anything, but I was like a really like involved fan at the time. Like I, I watched all their stuff. I listened to like all of the podcasts. I, I kept up with it a little too much, honestly. Like there's, I feel like my life was a little too focused on that, especially considering it was never that good, but I, I, I liked it enough. Uh, maybe. It's hard to say. I The only people I know of that really stuck around out of that was Handsome Tom and uh, 8-Bit Mickey. 8-Bit Mickey was on uh, The Tester. The Tester is a whole interesting thing. I'd honestly, I might do like a stream of just like watching The Tester all the way through. There were three seasons, I think. They're all on YouTube for free. If you go to PlayStation's channel, you can just watch all of it. Uh, it's like the worst reality show ever. Can you guys tell me, did I, because I changed the, um, the stream details, but sometimes when you're in the stream it doesn't update it automatically. Does it say that this is still going to be Metroid Fusion, or does this say, uh, does it say Metroid now? I don't I don't want to mislead people if I can help it. If they're expecting Metroid Fusion, I want to give them Metroid Fusion, you know. I already feel bad enough that I had to switch it uh because of those technical difficulties. It says Metroid. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh my 
god. Only like one in four of these give me a health drop. Come on. Come on. Um, uh, a shout out, by the way, for this game. Uh, I, I presume it's to get the SEO for Metroid Dread, which is also why I'm doing this. Not that I don't like the game, but it's like, if a new game is coming out in a series, playing the old games is just a good way to get get some attention. I'm not I'm not gonna like pretend that isn't why I'm playing this. Um, but uh, Game Champ 3000, uh, she does all sorts of challenge run videos, which are super fun. Um, uh, she did one which is like original Metroid uh, minimum item pacifist run so not killing anything and only getting like I think just like the freeze gun and the like uh, the morph ball bomb and that's like it that's the only item she gets and she beats the whole game so it's it's pretty impressive a lot of it is uh, just due to how kind of like wonky a lot of this is. A lot of NES games, you know, there's a lot of glitches you can use. I can't even do anything here. Pacifist runs are so crazy. Like, I can't imagine doing that already. Like, within two seconds, if I'm not like destroying something, it's gonna destroy me. Oh yeah, the Ratchet ones. I need to play Ratchet and Clank at some point as well. I've been going through Jack and Daxter on the weekdays. Um, but like, Ratchet and Clank is another series that I've always heard was really good, but because I wasn't... I wasn't exactly a PlayStation kid, I never really played those. You know, I've... I've the most I played a PlayStation was like Kingdom Hearts, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, and like the Pizza Hut demo discs. Which were apparently Reggie fils idea, because he was working for Pizza Hut at the time. And it was a genius idea. Like, there was not a lot of other ways to get demos back then. So, like, getting, like, a disc with your pizza? Your, your stuffed crust Pizza Hut pizza? It's great. Great idea. Man, I miss Reggie. I, I hope he's enjoying retirement. And he has popped up, you know, on, like, different uh, shows and stuff every now and then. But... Uh, Nintendo just isn't the same without him. Doug Bowser is doing his best, but he's just... I don't think anyone's ever gonna really compare to Reggie. I hope he's enjoying his retirement. I will, I will always recommend, um, every year or so, Mega64 would team up with Nintendo and do, like official sketches and like a lot of times they would get Reggie for a cameo and it was always so delightful because he's not like a good actor or anything Reggie's like kind of awkward but like he has such confidence that it's like really infectious like even when he's delivering a line super awkwardly it's like honestly kind of inspiring as an actor I'm just like I would not be able to deliver such goofy stuff that confidently and, like, I definitely would never think of some of the line reads he comes up with. And, like, I, it's definitely not skilled necessarily, but something about his lack of training actually means that he has a lot more creativity with his line reads than I think I would. So, you know, real impressed with that. Also, I watched Game Champ after I finished uh, Jack and Daxter with that 100% run. I rewatched Game Champ's uh, No Precursor Orb run. Oh my god, I can't even imagine some of that. I'm pretty sure she concluded that there's like, you can't 100% it without getting Precursor Orbs because the blue eco like turns you into a Precursor Orb magnet, but you can you can do pretty decently. <laughs> nope, nope, let me out. Oh, oh, uh, uh. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, nope, nope. Ooh, we're running low. Okay, there it is. Man, 
I need to figure out where the uh, morph bombs are. It's like, if I'm playing Metroid without being able to drop the bombs is... It feels weird. It feels like... Ah! This is a casual... Uh, don't judge me, this is a casual run. <laughs> I will cheat using the tools given to me. These are official Nintendo tools, alright? That ain't cheating my book. If Nintendo lets you do it, then it is officially allowed. Same with, there was that stupid debate where people were like, they put out the, um, they put out the, like, beefed up Zelda, the, like, plus version, where you, you just already have all the items, and people were like, you didn't really finish Zelda then, it's like, or it's not like it plays it for you. You still have to, like, use those items correctly. You still have to do all the combat. It's so stupid. And especially because it's an accessibility thing. It's like, dude, you just sound like a total asshole. Oh, what? People who couldn't play the game before because it was too difficult? Now they can play it? Sounds like... Sounds like some bad stuff to me. Shut up, dude. Anytime I hear somebody complaining, it's like, Oh, they made the game easier. What I hear is, I hate kids and disabled people. Like, full stop. Yeah. I... Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad they added the chilled tag, because the the feedback I always get is that I'm very... I'm very chill compared to a lot of other streamers. I will admit, I get... Uh, I did get very ragey when I played Super Metroid um, last week. So, if you if you go back and watch that, it, it does not remain chill throughout the whole playthrough. And I, I, I honestly felt pretty embarrassed, because, like, my family was outside, like, and they could hear me just screaming towards the end of that game. But it's, it's hard, I don't know. This is a real hard game. This one's already also pretty tough. But, uh... Ah, yeah. But, since this is a casual playthrough, I don't mind as much. I, I think I generally only get a, annoyed during marathon playthroughs because then it's like, ugh, I gotta I got get this done. I have to finish the whole game. God, <laughs> God damn it, hold on. Uh, maybe I should try and farm some health before going in there. Well, okay, let's just, uh, how do I switch to... Is that the missiles? The blue? I think that is, right? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, careful. Ooh. Same as careful. Ooh, oh, a little slippery here. Ooh, maybe not. There's a little bit of slip. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, it's one of those games. It's one of those classic games where it would just be beeping in your ear the whole time if you were low on health. Like, I get it. From a design standpoint... <laughs> From a design standpoint, it makes sense to be like, it's urgent. You are dying. You gotta do something. It's like, okay, I get that, but like, uh, maybe, maybe don't do that if you could. If you could, please. Oh, I can kill those guys. I thought... I don't know why I thought <laughs> I couldn't. Boy, yeah, I gotta get some health just for the sake of my sanity. Come on. Uh, I think I can take this guy out from right here. Yeah, he's gonna come. Ah, no health. Come on, come on, give it to me. Give me the, give me the health. Give me that purple goo. There we go. Nope, nope, still not enough to get it to stop beeping. Hold on, I'll get it, I'll get it. Ah, too high up. Uh oh. Oh, they lined that up just right to be difficult to get. Uh -oh. Well, no, I don't want. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh no! Why'd I do it like that? Anyways, I'm gonna fall apart. Oh. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> oh, geez. Oh my god. This area is ridiculous. Ooh, uh, uh. 
Ah. All right, I'm gonna have to go back until I was outside the room. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna pause it for a second to catch up on chat. Uh, casual player. Yeah, yeah. Last when I played through Super Metroid, um, a lot of the people watching were either randomizers or speedrunners and stuff. But uh, I, 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 I'm generally a casual. I like video games a lot, but I like playing a lot of games to see all the different mechanics that people design, rather than you know specializing in one game. The Japanese version of this game. Oh yes, the low health noise is the same as the jump noise. That's weird. Very weird. The Famicom Disk System is a console with better technology. The sound has better quality. Yeah, didn't the uh, Famicom version come out, like the, the Disk System, so it came out like later, right? Like it was actually a port. Ah, dang it. I don't think I can even do this part necessarily. Oh, that was weird. I rewound it to a part where I was like, paused. Yeah, that is really strange to have the same uh, the same sound effect for two different things like that. Uh, oh. Oh. You can see a little on the right there, you can see the uh the model wrapping around. Weird. Ah, dang it. I think I could have got it cuz he was just going vertical. Whoops. Maybe don't do it in the jump. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, I I've, I've just not been playing careful enough. This is this is early Nintendo when like if you wanted to survive you had to play extra careful. <laughs> oh, uh, what? Uh, health. Oh, oh, ah! oh god. Oh god. Get him, get him, get him. Hold on. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh god, I'm wasting all my missiles. Oh. Uh, oh, he respawned! No! Woo. Okay. Let's try that bit again. Ah! Alright, I'm not gonna go all the way over there because he respawns now. Ah, perfect. Got him stuck in a loop. Uh oh. Yeah, no! <laughs> How have I lost health doing this? Come on, come on. Oh god, they're so fast. Uh. And you do the most button mashing I can. Well, that's interesting. If you don't pick up the item, they don't respawn. Yeah, they're respawning really quick. So what, does it just, the item just takes the place of that sprite? Ah, oh, crap, I forgot. Oh no, both of them. Ooh. Uh oh, they, oh, okay. Right, I'm guessing that's like a different screen then. That's why they don't uh, respawn over there. And then this guy keeps respawning because I'm going to the next screen, but he can join me on this screen. Oh, come on, come on. Oh no, oh no. No, please. Please, I have a family. I think. I don't remember. Does Samus have a family? It was like a lore thing at the beginning. All I got from that was that the planet was called Zeep instead of Zebes. Or I guess Zebes. 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 Please. Please, I just want the noise to stop. <laughs> Give me some health, please. Okay. Now we're just gonna, yeah, farm out some health for a minute. God, they respawn like instantly. That's wild. Come on, come on. Give me some help. Give me some help. Come on, come on. <laughs> Why is it not dropping any health? <laughs> oh, please. Alright, maybe I need to get the other guy respawning to make it work. Or maybe I just got all the health you can out of this one. <laughs> oh god, they respond so fast! Ah! Ah! Okay. Oh, 
Okay, we're just gonna zip back to when I had 24, 34. I think 34 is the best I'm gonna be able to do for right now. <laughs> Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Ah, the fact you can't duck and uh, shoot is really difficult here. Right! Ridley killed the family. That was the whole plot of the game. I remember now. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine, that's fine. Close enough, close enough. Oh jeez, ah, oh my gosh, there's so many enemies there. This game's pretty hard. The NES was known for having really hard games, but like this one, this is pretty hard. Come on, please, please. Ah, within seconds, you lose all that. This just makes Game Champs like challenge run that much more impressive, knowing that uh, she had, what, like 30 HP to work with the entire game? Ah, oh, dang it. Oh my god, just let me out, let me out! Ah! Ah. Man, I just don't have the reflexes to manage that, because they respawn so fast. I think uh, where I have them here, they're respawning at uh, different intervals. Oh, nope. Literally, as I said that, I'm just, I got right through it. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, you have like half a second of invincibility. Man, I, I appreciate that invincibility frames were a thing, but it's pretty clear that they were not generous. Hold on, I just gotta time it. There we go. Ah! So when am I on this screen? I think right here? Yeah. All right, let me see if I can farm some health again from this side. Oh my goodness. Nah, I guess I got all the health I could out of these guys. That's so weird. I remember them being like a... At least in Super Metroid. They're like a fount of health. Oh, heck. Whoops. That was just bad timing on my... That was just bad timing on my part. Maybe I should. Ah, nope. Oh my gosh. I know I can get this jump, I just gotta time it correct. There we go. Yep, my quest to try and farm health did not work out. Oh, oh, I forgot that. <laughs> I forgot. I'm, whoops, not far enough. I forgot, games used to do that. Stuff would just spawn into your sprite and crush you. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let's go back to here. And try and get them all. Uh oh. Did not jump high enough. Ah, so close, so close. Hold on. Whoops. Whoops, what the heck? Nope, bad timing. That was my bad. Just don't want to get smushed again. <laughs> the range on this little blaster is very short. Ooh. This game, you know, it's definitely a product of its time, but the thing I can certainly say about this game is it's very, oops, it's very exciting. Like, you just go. Ah, dang it. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's nothing over here even. Ah. This is bad. This is bad for me. Please. Yep, that was just a waste of time getting over here. Shoot. Ah, 
Well, I, yeah, I'm probably only gonna play this for the one stream. Um, it's more just to, you know. I'm trying to check out more Metroid. I've never even played very much past the very opening of the game. So I figured it'd be good to, good to at least give it a fair shake before getting Metroid Dread. And same with Fusion, which is what I was originally gonna play here. Um, but my my whole system wouldn't work for that. Oops. Man, you have to really mash. Keep up with these guys. I honestly might just restart from the top on this, because I'm having a real rough time. Because I was not very careful earlier on. Yeah. Hmm. Do I have any suspend points for this one? Nah. Alright, we're just gonna reset from the top. And it's a casual run. I mean, I can totally see why people love this game. Uh, sure. I'd, I'd appreciate a hint. I'm more or less just, like, wandering. Which is kind of the point of a game like Metroid. Is just exploring and everything, but, like... Uh, you know, I'm only playing for like a couple hours here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody said on the Super Metroid stream that uh, Zero Mission is just a remake of this, but in like the Metroid Fusion engine, which sounds like it would have been the way to go, but uh, if I could get... If I could have gotten that one to run, I would have been able to get um, Fusion to run. So, hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully. I'm gonna have to, you know, gonna have to do some stuff. Just... Oh, you can't shoot down. Okay. That makes sense. An important item in Brinstar. Okay. Uh, where am I at now? I think this is Criteria, right? Oh, is there a map? Oh, the pause doesn't even. Oh, this is Brinstar, okay. Right, in Super Metroid, they like start you in Criteria and you go to Brinstar. Oh, I hit... Hold on. I'm rewinding a little bit, because I definitely hit jump there. <laughs> and it just didn't register. Whoops, 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 whoops. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Ah, the bug. The bug. Okay. Please. Please. Oh, I didn't even get any, get any health from that one. Tears. That was very close. Yeah, I was never big on Metroid. I played a lot of Metroid 2. Um, and like, now that they've ported pretty much all the Metroids, you know. Uh, I remember I got... <laughs> I, I think with my th uh, DS originally, I got like a Metroid Prime Hunters demo, which was a, a terrible Metroid game from my understanding. It was like trying to be like a watered down version of Prime, but like because of how the DS worked, it was like a nightmare. I don't know, I feel like a lot of the DS ports were kind of like the, like the uh, Mario 64 one where they just kind of put a map, but then it's like, if you wanted to spin Bowser around, you had to actually like spin it around on the bottom screen. That's, that's difficult. Never got the hang of like, letting go of Bowser. As you can probably tell from my Mario 64 run. Okay. Um. Yeah, I want to play the Metroid Primes at some point, because they're coming out with Metroid Prime 4 eventually. 
it's one of those ones where they only release like a title card, which basically means we don't have anything done, we're just letting you know we're working on it. And then they made an apology that it was taking so long, and that's kind of all we know. Dread looks pretty good. I'm, I'm excited for that. It's like a stealthy thing. That's pretty neat. Okay. Wow, they make you climb a lot further in this one than in Super Metroid. There's so much more to go up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we're ever actually gonna see Prime 4. It's definitely trapped in development for now. Cause like they announced that was one of the ones in their like um when they announced most of the, the Switch launch games, they mentioned they were gonna do that one. They've been they've been working on it for quite a while. I don't know, it's interesting with Metroid though, like they they do development for quite a while. Like, uh yeah, Dread, like if you watch a lot of the featurettes they've been posting to YouTube, uh they planned on doing Dread on like GameCube, but then they realized that the hardware limitations meant that they wouldn't be able to really manage a lot of the uh, stuff they were planning on doing. Ah, dang it, I don't have the... I don't have the missiles yet. Hold on. Ugh. Gotta go get the missiles. Ooh. Uh -huh. ah. I think this is what happened, is I went and got the missiles and then just kept going. Rather than, uh, coming back to this room. Yeah, I can't imagine. I've literally only heard about it when they announced it was coming out soon. But I'm sure fans have been of the series have been hearing about it for a long time from everything I'm seeing. This is where I got stuck, because I didn't have the, uh, bomb. Yeah, that feel, if, everything I'm seeing, it feels like that's, like, it's like how they announced Beyond Good and Evil 2, and it's like, that was, that was the game that a lot of people were like, whoa, really? We never actually expected that to happen, or like, um, they announced a new Fable game, which is, you know, shocking. Uh, the biggest shock for me recently was the, the Banjo-Kazooie port that's going to be coming to the N64 expansion pass. Because, like, Banjo-Kazooie like, one of my favorite games ever. And the, the, the big upset has always been that Microsoft bought Rare. And has honestly not done that much with them. Like, they did Sea of Thieves, they did, like, the, you know, Banjo, Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Ah, <sighs> less said about that, the better. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's wild. I, it honestly, it felt so personal to me, seeing that lineup as it went by, because, like, all of my favorite N64 games were popping up. You know, Yoshi's Story is one of the launch ones. Banjo Kazooie, Paper Mario, uh, Kirby 64, which is like easily one of my favorite N64 games. Oh yeah, Nuts and Bolts. I, I, it's got a reputation for being like, you know, really insulting to fans. It, it was so bizarre to me because like I tried playing it. I have the Rare Replay like collection for Xbox that includes Nuts and Bolts. 
And I was like, I'll give it a fair shot. You know, everybody says it's bad, but most people I don't think actually tried it. But it's like, it's honestly infuriating. It's so upsetting how, like, mean-spirited it is. Like, they made it ostensibly for fans of Banjo-Kazooie, so they have to assume the people playing are fans of that series, and they're just so mean. Like, everything they say is just this horribly insulting, like, mess. And it's like, why would you do that? Like, I could not get even to the tutorial of the car nonsense, because I was just, I was just insulted. Like, why would you do, why would you write your game like that? Why, why are you doing, like, these super mean-spirited teardowns of the original game that you're ostensibly, like, marketing to? It'd be like if, it'd be like if they made one of the Disney remakes, and the whole time, like, sometimes they lampshade, like, haha, this was kind of silly, wasn't it? But, like, they're never, like, yeah, the original really sucked, huh? Everything about it was awful. Anyways, play our game that's just... Just watch this movie that's the same, like, visual stuff, but, uh, totally, totally different content. It's like, that's... that's just bad marketing. Really, really frustrating. Ah! Still don't have the missiles. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's just frustrating. Because, like, if it didn't do that, if it was just, like a th new Banjo-Kazooie story, I'd be like, okay, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll give this a fair shake. I, I did finally watch a review, because most of the reviews are just like, this is really insulting, this is, this clearly is not meant for actual fans of the series. But, uh, there was finally a review that, like, played through the whole game and was like, is this actually bad? That's the door I should come back to. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Come on! Samus! Okay. Uh... Yeah, it's... It is just a bad game. Like, it's it's just poorly designed for what it is. It's about the vehicles, but the vehicles are actually, like, really poorly programmed. And, like, not fun even if they were programmed well. So it's like, I just... I'm so confused by what they were trying to do. I, I would love to see a new Banjo-Kazooie game someday that's, like, just actually a continuation of the original. I don't know. The closest we've gotten is Ukulele, which is not very good, unfortunately. And, uh, Had in Time is, like, a spiritual successor, and it's, like, it's actually really great. I did a marathon stream of that, and I well, loved it. Um... You know, it's just, uh... Think of what other games I'd want to see come back or be remade or something. Yeah, it's like you can expect some new fans for a series, certainly, if you're bringing in a new iteration, and especially if you're, you know, you're definitely changing up a lot as they did in that game. But like, you should understand that the majority of the people playing are going to be people who were fans of the old games. And if you already are changing stuff up so much so that it's actually not going to be like the game they liked, like, adding on top of that, just like, ridicule and basically telling them they're stupid for liking the old game, like, being like, it was a bad game, it was super stupid, and only dipshits would like it, it's like, what? This is just adding insult to injury. And it's it's especially, like, even... It would be real uncalled for, even if it was a good game, and it's not. Like, it's, it's so wild that they're just like, our game sucks, and we're gonna talk shit on the much better versions that came before it. And it's like, why are you doing this? This is terrible, terrible business, guys. I'm just so, so very confused by the decisions with that game. Um, I, you know what I really want to see? Because I was just saying, like, Donkey Kong 64. Not very well designed. Uh, like, in terms of level design. Like, 
the you know the mechanics are, are pretty strong the way the characters work really satisfying the it's just like the the level design is like a nightmare um but I would love to see a new Donkey Kong that's like that like a, a big open world Donkey Kong game uh, ah finally the missiles here we go yeah real interesting real interesting case study it's just it, it's Oh, it's it's such an interesting decision. I I would love honestly to see a behind the scenes documentary or featurette or something about like the making of nuts and bolts just to try and figure out what they were thinking with that one. Like it, it's just so many bizarrely awful decisions. And like such like arrogant decisions too. Like that's the thing is like if you make bad decisions, but, you, like, it's from a, a place of, like, love or reverence, like, ukulele. Ukulele is not a very good game, but they definitely came for, you know, they, they like, had a lot of respect for the original games. And, like, they, they clearly knew what, you know, who they were selling it to. But, like, wait, is this the right? I think this is. Um, but, like... Yeah, nuts and bolts. It's just so arrogant. They really thought that they were so good that they were gonna th blow the other games out of the water. I don't know, man. It's it's wild. It's really wild. Wow, the Metroid games do pretty decent numbers here on Twitch. I I rarely get this many viewers <laughs> on a stream. And every time I've done Metroid, it's been actually pretty, pretty good. I guess it, it's a much bigger fan base than I thought. I always thought it was kind of niche, but at the same time, the, like, most niche stuff is always the stuff that, like, people adore, you know? Like, if I, if I were to run, like, I don't know, uh... Like, if I were to run, like, Mario RPG, people would love that. Like, it's basically the only one in its series, but it's, people love it. Um, which I did in the past run that. I, I, I need to finish my RPG at some point. The problem is, the way it's, it is right now, I'd have to go back and grind. I don't, I don't like grinding. Uh, oh, you know what else? Um, speaking of bad rare sequels, uh, I'd love to see a new, like, Star Fox game. I'm pretty sure there was one on, like, 3DS that not a lot of people talked about. And there was like the, the Star Fox 64 remake on 3DS towards the early side of its lifetime. Um, like I, uh, oh, yeah. but I would love to see a new Star Fox game. Um, even one that was like uh, Star Fox Adventures. Wii U. Oh, the Wii U seems like it'd be really good for a game like that. A shmup? Like, especially a space shmup, a shmup like that. Like, having the screen there. That's pretty cool. Like, the, I, the, I, I really wish I'd gotten on board with the Wii U. I was just so broke at the time that I could not afford one. But I absolutely would have played it all the time. Okay, there we go. Is he gonna follow me? Oh, he got ahead of me. That's what- oh, hey. And it's... uh, it doesn't say. Is this the... Yeah! Little bomb. Can I bust through? Oh, no, I guess that's just... okay. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's one of the... Uh, that's one of those franchises where it's like... I know, similar to fighting games, it's like... No matter how much personality you have, fighting games will always end up coming down to the same core concepts. So similarly, it's like, what can you really do with Star Fox that wasn't basically perfected in Star Fox 64? Like, that third-person shmup combat 
I, I guess you could improve the graphics and make it like bigger and stuff, and that'd be cool. But like, gameplay wise, what can you add? I guess there's like the, the, the walker missions or whatever, where you're in the little like mech version of your R-Wing. And it's like, that's kind of neat, but I don't, I don't know, that doesn't seem substantial enough to really warrant a whole new game. It's... I, yeah. I don't know, it's also like, similar to how there's like a new FIFA, a new, like, Forza every like year or so. I feel like you could just do Star Fox and just like, add new, uh, new levels. In fact, nowadays you could do that with like DLC. You could have like every year or so just release a DLC pack and then every, I don't know, four to five years, like, release a new game that's not really that different. It's just like, you know, new vehicles, maybe some customizable options. It's It doesn't seem like it needs to be that complicated, you know? I just want a super fun level that I can shoot, shoot Star Fox through. And I want some goofy voice acting, which is like my favorite part of Star Fox, is the really silly voice acting lines. Game was all those games were always like super ahead of their time. Like uh, original Star Fox on the like uh, like Super Nintendo is so wild to me. Like seeing it, I'm like, that does not look like it should be running on a Super Nintendo. Those are th like those 3D graphics. Like yes, they're super polygonal, but like it doesn't feel like it should be able to do that. Similar to like. When you remember Mario 3 is on the NES, it's like, how? How can it? they have done this? Or like for me, Banjo-Tooie on 64, I'm just like, wow, this looks amazing for this console. Uh, the reason, <laughs> the reason it's, uh, is because it honestly was too far ahead of its time. That game is so laggy on actual N64. Like anytime you're flying, and then when you had to fly and like shoot, oh my god, it was, it was horrible. Like it just would not work. It was so laggy, but like with the remakes now, it's it works a lot better. Um, and then yeah, like N64 Star Fox had like voiceover lines. Like they're not super, <laughs> they're not like great, but like they're they're pretty good. I don't know, something about like the super cheesy voice acting in like, um, like Resident Evil or like Star Fox, Re I, I, I like it a lot. I really appreciate like silly voice acting where it's clear they didn't necessarily hire like, <laughs> they didn't really expect anybody to like focus that much on it. So they didn't like, they didn't put that much effort into, uh, into the voiceover parts. There we go. Yeah, exactly. There was someone actually, speaking of Metroid, there was someone who pointed out, it's like, they're always like, anytime they do Metroidvanias, they're like, we're gonna add a bajillion, like, graphical things and this and that, and it's like, what, um, <laughs> what somebody said is like, just re release basically Super Metroid, like 16-bit graphics and everything, but just make it like five times bigger. Just like five times bigger, because you can now. Like computers, you could honestly make it like 10, 15, 20 times bigger with like modern computers. Like why not, has no one done that? Just like make huge Super Metroid, and they kind of are, like with Metroid Dread. I can't tell how like large the game is gonna be, but like. Uh, oh God. Oh no, I'm very low on health. Please, please give me health. Ugh, run away. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> ah, hold on, I'm gonna rewind on that. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, also, thank you for following. 
Um, I don't, unfortunately I don't have alert box on vanilla OBS because I'm running Mac in the Streamlabs. It's not really working anymore, unfortunately. Um, oh jeez, oh jeez. Nope, whoops. Come on. Nope. There we go. But uh, yeah, thank you for following. I had like it all set up, but it's just like it would glitch out and my computer just could not handle like both running that and games and such. So it was, yeah, you know, it just wasn't working out. Oh, we got some slowdown. Oh, we got some slowdown. Getting a little warm in here. My computer's kicking out a lot of heat. Not too bad. When I'm playing like these emulated games on the Switch Online, it, it doesn't take up too much um, computing power. So thankfully, it'll get a little toasty, but not too bad. Whoa, whoa. These guys are much more difficult to like farm stuff out of than they were in in Super Metroid. It was like you just kind of go ham and they give you five at a time. But like in this one, my goodness, oh, they're like really formidable foes. They're honestly more likely to do damage than they are to help. Oh gosh. I just gotta pause it for the beeping. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. MacBooks are, they have their place, all right? If you ask an actual computer person, like someone who's a, got a degree in IT or like computer science, most of them will be like each, each different platform has its ups and downs. Like Linux is really good for server maintenance. Um. Macs are actually really good for coding and for like creative work, mainly because they can handle external devices so much better. That's the big thing for me as a voice actor. I'm like, I'm so frustrated by like a ton like Windows because like if I plug in a new mixer or something, it takes a billion years to download the drivers and everything. Whereas with Mac, it's just like, no, you're good to go. You're good to go. Just plug and play. And that that makes it so much so much nicer. Like, I remember when I had Windows, it's like, if I plugged it, if I plugged a device into a different USB port, it would have to re-download the drivers for that USB port. Ridiculous. I'd never have that issue on Mac. That being said, for gaming, Windows is much better. Mac, Mac sucks for gaming. And for streaming, is not great. It might be good if I had, like, the Mac, uh, the tower or something, but... All I got is the MacBook, and I only have it because I got it as a gift. So I, I really appreciate it from a work standpoint, but yeah, I, I really want to get like a proper gaming PC at some point. Just gotta gotta make enough from the stream to justify the purchase. having a lot of trouble right now. I dual boot hacking. Yeah. Yeah, I've considered the dual boot because but my hard drive is kind of small. So if I tried to partition that, I wouldn't have much to use on either side. So, eh. but um yeah, yeah. I I I like my MacBook, but I'm I'm looking to get a PC as my my next computer, some kind of solid gaming PC. I am going to take a break cool off for a minute, freshen up, you know, stretch my legs, all that. Go drink some water, have a snack, stretch your legs, everybody. Do some jumping jacks. That's what I do. But uh, I will be back in just a minute, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. I'll be right back with more Metroid in just a minute.
All right, I am back. Here's a question for everybody. Uh, the Switch OLED, the new Switch, basically what we thought was gonna be the Switch Pro. Uh, you gonna buy? I, I got my Switch at launch. And I've had no problems with it. It's, you know, it's getting a little older. Battery's still doing fine. Although I think I might be getting a little bit of loadage, which would be not good. Um, but, sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I, <laughs> I'm not kidding when I say I do jumping jacks during my breaks. It's just, it's good to stretch your legs. Um, yeah, what do you guys, what do you think about the, the Switch OLED? OLED edition. I, I feel like it looks good if you're either a, like, actually a professional, basically if you're like an esports person, because of the wired LAN, which seems like it's pretty solid, and the, it, but for the most part it feels like it's mostly meant for portable, like handheld mode, which I don't actually use that much. I, I usually end up just playing it, like, it docked here or docked out in the living room, since everybody here has a Switch now. might be the best I can do, so let me just let me get one more and then I'm out of here. Oh no, can I not? Is that the limit? I think that's the limit. Alright, let's... Oops! Ah, whatever. I'm out, I'm out. That's what I want. Yeah, that exactly, that's... Um, everything that it's saying is like... Better screen, sure. Better battery, okay. Uh, the kickstand, I think the kickstand is honestly the biggest change. Um, considering that, like, that was the thing that got the most criticism is, like, feeling kind of cheap, honestly. For, like, such a, a solid console, the, the kickstand that it's got is, like, yeah, weirdly flimsy. So the new, the new kickstand looks good, and the dock looks good. Like, having more of a curved thing, having the wired LAN, but like, I don't know, I wonder if they're gonna sell the dock on its own. Because if they do end up selling the dock by itself, I might get one, but I, I don't think, unless my Switch dies, knock on wood, I think that's actual wood over there, um, I, r I really don't have a reason to get the OLED. But if it does, I mean, that's the one I'm gonna replace it with. Cause it's only 50 bucks more and it is like, it is better in many ways. It's just, you know, such minor ways that most people won't care. And there is always the Switch Lite that I feel like most people are doing portable are looking more for like the Switch Lite than they are necessarily. A uh, better version of the console one. Oh my goodness, this game is so hard. Shaking my head. Nope, out. It's fun. You know, I'm not... <clears throat> when I say this is hard, I'm not bashing it in any kind of way. I think it's definitely that kind of Nintendo hard that feels like brutal, but feels fair. That was always Nintendo's problem, is like, all their games were pretty hard, but a lot of them didn't feel very fair. So, this one, this one feels like it's in a, a good position for that. Let me, what am I doing? I'm always slouching. I frame myself up, sitting up straight, and then I slouch the whole friggin' stream. Whoop, I'm out, I'm out. Oh, jeez. Oh, cacophony. All right, I made it out. Oops, not nearly. Ah. Yep, 
yeah. I The thing I'm just most excited for right now is that N64 expansion. Pass. And also the Genesis stuff, too. Like, for the most part, I already have most of those through the, the Genesis collection that I got. Um, Echo, though. I, I like Echo the Dolphin a lot. And, uh... A couple other ones that aren't on that. Um, yeah, I'm super, super stoked on the N64 games that are coming out for that. And specifically, that Bluetooth N64 controller. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that. Like, I, like... I, I was playing Donkey Kong 64 and I, I Bluetoothed a, um, a a PS4 controller and it's like, that's okay. But it's like, it's just not the same as that OG N64 controller. My, my big problem will just be, you know, how's that thumbstick? You know, because the, the thumbstick originally had no kind of padding or anything and it had just barely the tiniest bit of like concentric circle for grip. So hopefully they update that just a touch, you know, just make it like rubberized and it'll be good. Um, and also, just make it so that it doesn't break immediately because that was the big, the big problem those N64 controllers always had was uh, that thumbstick would just, it just break after a while and just kind of hang loose. And like it would still work, but not super well and yeah, it'd be just kind of clattery. I'm just, I'm real excited. It looks like it's basically a pro controller, so I'm curious if you can use it with other games. Like, I'd like to try and use it with Hat in Time. Wait a minute. This is one of those spots that needs missiles, if I remember correctly, so I'm gonna... Give that shot. Whoops. Uh, uh. Yeah, I haven't been through here. What's this? L. L for what? Long. L for long. Okay. I'm down with that. Oh wow, that's much longer. That's like across the whole screen. Barely went even a quarter of that before. Ah, dang it. These guys are real annoying because they drop to right below where you can shoot. Hey, 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 hey. <clears throat> All right, what time is it? About one o'clock. I'm gonna go for like another hour. Gonna, I'm gonna have to hard stop it too because I got a couple things I gotta do before heading out to the movies at around 3-ish, 3.30, I don't remember. It's Saturday and people are always driving around like idiots on a weekend. Oh my goodness. Things gone wild. Whoa! Ah, 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 ah. Oh. Alright, we're gonna... Rewind it like back here. Oh my god! Ah, oh, the lava! The lava's really... The biggest difficulty in this area. It's all over the place. And it's so brutal. It's so hard to get out of. It's so hard to get out of. It drains your health so fast. And like... Yeah, it's so, like, omnipresent in this entire area. Goodness gracious. Whoa. 
Ah, dang it. Yeah, I have this on 3DS as well. So I've played a bit of it on there. But like, I just kind of bought it because it's a classic and I never actually played that version. Feels a little silly. Oh, hello. Hello. Can I, can I get like some health drops or something, guys? Like an E-tank would be amazing right now. I guess I can't even get up over there. Or maybe I can. Nope. Come on. Nope, can't, can't get up there. Uh, I feel like I need like the high jump in the various suit, maybe? Depending on if those are even in this one. Ah, see that's the detriment to using this long beam. Is the, um, you can only really have three, three of the dots in uh, one screen at a time. So if you miss, you gotta wait a lot longer. Less rapid fire. Whoops. And those guys are really designed to just like meet meet you in the middle of a jump, huh? It's real, real friggin' annoying. Hey, it's all right. Whoop. Ah! <laughs> the second you grab it, they respawn. It's real ridiculous. I think that's really what made these games difficult more than anything, is that a lot of the little things, little, um, like, uh, quality of life things that they added to Nintendo later, they just could not do. They just didn't have the hardware to manage. So similarly, it's like, to, to program this, they really had to just do whatever they could to make it actually happen. They couldn't focus so hard on, you know, is this gonna be too difficult? It's like, yeah, but, I mean, do you want a hard game or do you not want a game? Those are kind of the options with it. And I, for one, like video games. I know, controversial opinion, but, uh, here on Twitch, many people are like, mm, I don't know about these video games, but I will stand strong and say, I do enjoy a video game. Oh, jeez. Okay, it seems like when you have four or more guys to a screen, it becomes uh, a bit laggy. Uh, no, I guess maybe just five. Oh, wait, oh, a little bit of lag. So it's when you drop below 15 health, got it. I think it's 15. It would make sense with the, the fives. Five just feels like a good number, you know. Yeah, these are really tall really tall uh, vertical hallways. Nope, nope. Oh. Like uh, Super Metroid, they really, really narrowed them up. Nope, no, 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 please, please. Aw, oh, I can't reach it. Ah, that's fine, that's fine. Out of the way, out of the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I do love, there's like a cheesiness to early Nintendo. Like look at Samus's model here. It just looks like, it just looks like some doofus in like a yellow jumpsuit with like a motorcycle helmet on. It's really not intimidating at all, but like something about just this space this little space marine running around. Marine? Is Samus? I don't think. I think Samus is like a. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, he's spinning! Samus is like a. 
Bounty Hunter. Samus is Bounty Hunter, I remember. Yeah, it feels like five enemies on screen. Five enemies, it starts to slow down. Four enemies and shooting, it starts to slow down. Boy, I'm getting through a lot of this game by the skin of my teeth. It's so close. Oh. I smell intimidating. Whoops, I meant to do the ball. Whatever, here we go. Nope. <laughs> Hold on. Nope. I accidentally hit up a little bit because I used the analog stick. Ooh, oh, 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 there he goes, there he goes. Sorry, bud, I need a health drop if you got one. Hey, thanks. And we're backing out of that. Oh my god. <clears throat> that guy immediately messed my business up. <clears throat> what was that, 20 damage? My goodness. They're real rude down here. Oh jeez. Oh gosh. It's real uh it's real dangerous in here. I wish those also gave you some health. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think I should wait until it stops and then yeah. Once they stop, they're like locked in. Ah. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh my goodness, they stay just high enough that you can't really morph ball your way down. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's very hard. Try ah. No, no. <laughs> All right, we're going to even earlier. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Whoops, oh, I forgot to turn my missiles off. Oh, oh my goodness, this whole area. Hold on, let me head back even more. Uh, let me see if I can, like, find some health drops around here. I am desperate for them. What? This is like the same room. What's going on? Oh my goodness. The bugs still got me. Get like one E tank, please. Whoa, that guy blew up. That's that's not good for me. Whoa, crap! Oh my god. Please let me rewind a little. Yeah, it won't even let you like hang out in a morph ball. Wow, this game is so brutal. Everybody's like, oh, Doom 2016. Nah, dude. Metroid. NES. Games. 
so hard. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, uh, I could have just... Uh, uh. Ah, ha, ha, ha. This honestly makes me think a lot of Doom 2016, honestly. Like, it has a lot of the same, like, resource management bits and the, like, uh, super planning. You know what? Honestly, I said I was gonna go for like another hour, but I think they'll do it. I I already had so many stuff and like I'm having a fine time, but I think I'm basically at the wall of how far I can get in this game. It's very, very hard. So I am gonna be back tomorrow. I'm gonna try and get Metroid Fusion going. I don't know what was up at the beginning of this this stream. It was real annoying. But um yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and make it work. In the meantime, switch over here, hi. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for inviting me into your home, computer, tablet, laptop, gaming console, Roku, Apple TV, however it is you watch today, whether it was in the past, the present, or the future, with the past broadcast tab, or Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, that's three words, Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, uh, or Iggy Kid Twitch Archive for you guys, it's weird, sorry. Um, where, uh, you can, you know, watch my streams there. You can also find my personal YouTube, Iggy and the Ape, linked with that down below on the browser version. Go check those out. Subscribe, follow, follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid. Be sure to follow and subscribe here. Use your Twitch Prime sub, which if you have Amazon Prime, connect the two accounts and you get one free sub a month. Use it on me. Thanks, because I know you will. Appreciate it. That's going to do it for today. I hope you'll join me tomorrow for, uh for uh, Metro Prime Fusion, hopefully. I'll try. If I can't get Fusion running, I will do zero. Well, if I can't get Fusion running, I won't be able to do zero mission. I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll do something. I don't know, but it'll be tomorrow around the same time, I think. Thanks very much for joining in. And hey, nobody else has told you this. I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's see if I got anybody I can raid you all over to on here. Let's... uh. Let's go to the end screen. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Nope, nobody I'm familiar with, unfortunately, is streaming right now. Well, that's all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good weekend. Hope to see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.